Welcome. In this video, we will learn how to use and access the eBrains atlases. In particular, we will learn what eBrains atlases are, how the human brain atlas in particular is structured, and how to explore the eBrains atlases interactively in a web browser. We will also get a glimpse into the new programmatic interfaces to the atlases. Let's begin. Brain atlases define the shape, the location, and variability of brain regions. As spatial reference systems, they allow the navigation, characterization, and analysis of information on the basis of anatomical location within the brain. This is quite similar to an atlas of the Earth. Basically, each location in the given space is associated with a well-defined concept. For the Earth, these concepts could be states or climate zones. For the brain, these are different types of brain regions. eBrains develops open access 3D brain atlases, and one way to work with eBrains atlases is using our interactive 3D atlas viewer, Zebra Explorer, which functions directly in your web browser. You can access the different eBrains atlas services via the web portal at ebrains.eu. Simply access them by clicking on the Services category and then on the Atlases section. In this tutorial, we will discuss the interactive Atlas Viewer Zebra Explorer, but here you can find many more services for accessing the eBrains atlases, integrating data to them, or using the atlases for various forms of data analysis and simulation. eBrains supports reference atlases of the human brain, the rat brain, and the mouse brain. We have also just released a first template for an atlas of the non-human primate monkey, which is in development. To better understand how to use eBrain's atlases, let's have a closer look at one of them and discover the structure of the human brain atlas. The human brain atlas covers various facets of brain organization, such as different spatial resolutions and modalities. That's why we call it a multi-level atlas. It uses cytoarchitecture as its most fundamental principle of brain organization represented by the Ulich brain probabilistic cytoarchitectonic maps. Here you see their simplest representation, the maximum probability map, which parcellates the reference space into distinct visible regions. It is available in volumetric and surface representations. Each individual region is also represented by a richer probabilistic map which captures its variability across at least 10 different brains. The human brain atlas includes additional maps which reflect complementary principles of brain organization. The architecture of nerve fibers is captured by maps of long and short fiber bundles, and clusters of functional activity are represented by maps of functional modules at different granularities. In addition, the atlas contains highly detailed maps at nearly cellular resolution. These maps are represented in the Big Brain model, a reference template built from microscopic scans of histological sections which provide a spatial resolution of 20 micrometers. This resolution allows to see individual cortical layers in the brain, appreciate the laminar distributions of cells, and observe subcortical structures. Lastly, the Atlas gives you access to a growing selection of multimodal data features that are linked to brain regions. These describe different regional aspects of brain structure and function, including densities of cells, fibers, neurotransmitter receptors, connectivity profiles, functional activations, physiological recordings, and more. Before you continue watching, we recommend that you have a look 
at the Take a Tour feature, which is available in the Quick Start menu. It is designed for you as a summarized pre-guide in the form of an interactive tour to learn how to access the most important features of the Zebra Explorer, such as where to access different template spaces or plugins, or how to zoom in and out, for example. Have you already had a look? Then let's continue where we left off. You can access Zebra Explorer, our interactive online 3D atlas viewer, through the eBrains web portal eBrains.eu. Alternatively, you can directly access the Explorer URL under atlases.ebrains.eu slash viewer. Let's now have a look at how we can actually access these features using Zebra Explorer. The Atlas Selector at the top right allows you to choose between reference atlases of different species. Here, we'll select the Multilevel Human Brain Atlas. You now have the option to view the human brain from different angles as well as different resolutions. For example, you have the option to zoom in. The currently selected MNI Colin reference space has a 1 mm resolution. Therefore, to see more anatomical detail, you can switch over to the big brain space, which has a much higher resolution of 20 micrometers. Here you can view larger cells at the microscopic scale. It's also possible to view individual cortical layers. And we can rotate the planar views to take an oblique angle. Instructions on functions like zooming and rotating have been documented in the Quick Start menu at the top right for your convenience. You can find and independently rotate the 3D overview of the brain in the lower right corner with limited resolution. Here you can also find additional settings. The different reference templates and maps supported by the Atlas can be explored by using the Atlas Layer Selector. This is where you can access maps of bundles, as well as functional modes. Where you can switch over to the microscopic space of the big brain, or view the free surface surface map, where you can see the peel, the white matter, as well as the inflated surfaces. The taxonomy feature near the search field displays the names and relationships between all brain regions in an organized hierarchy. When you click on a particular brain region to select it, note how the probability map of the selected region is loaded, if one is available. A side panel is also open for the selected region. You will get to the functionalities in the side panel later and close it for now. After selecting a brain region, the chips next to the layer selector indicate the currently selected parcellation map and brain region. Click on I to read more about the selected item and find links to more detailed online resources. Along with clicking to select a brain region directly in the map, you can also use the region quick search by clicking on this icon on the left 
for finding, selecting, and navigating brain regions. You can find rich information in the corresponding sidebar. In the sidebar, you can also access a link to open the corresponding dataset page of the selected brain region in a metadata database called the eBrain's Knowledge Graph. All the elements that the atlases are composed of are in fact curated datasets stored within the Knowledge Graph. The probability maps of each brain region are stored as separate datasets in the Knowledge Graph with the appropriate license, publication, authors, and so on. The Knowledge Graph has its own web interface at kg.ebrains.eu. Important metadata, such as the dataset description, are also displayed within Zebra Explorer in the sidebar. You can search for datasets by their location in the brain in the Regional Features section. It shows the different multimodal datasets that have been specifically registered to the currently selected brain region. As an example, it will show a data set with distributions of neurotransmitter receptors that have been measured in the same brain region. Click on an option and explore the data set directly in the knowledge graph. It is possible to find and browse connectivity matrices that match your selected map of brain organization. You can find a color-coded graph of other brain regions connected to your currently selected region. The color indicates the connection strength of your selected region to another brain area. As we reach the end of our Zebra Explorer tour, Let's have a look at these icons in the top right corner. Through these you can access quick start instructions for a quick overview of basic commands, a link to take an interactive tour of the most important Atlas features, as well as helpful resources in the user documentation section. A growing set of interactive plugins which provide you with additional functionality to work with or analyze specific parcellation maps. For example, the current set includes plugins for taking screenshots of the whole or partial screen, an annotation mode where images can be annotated with points lines, and polygons in a reference space. And UJAX, which is a method for performing the differential analysis of gene expressions from the popular repository of the Allen Institute in different human brain regions. And before we go, we have some rather thrilling news. We are developing a Python client that provides programmatic access to the very same features we've just discussed and more, so you can easily connect your computational workflows to our brain atlases. You can access this client via the link provided here below. We also plan to provide you with a tutorial video for the Python client in the near future. In this short video, we have explored the following eBrains has developed human, rat, and mouse brain atlases, as well as a pre-release version of the monkey brain atlas, that provide information on the basis of anatomical location, and these can be accessed via Zebra Explorer, an online interactive atlas viewer. 
The eBrain's Human Brain Atlas supports complementary principles of brain organization, covers different spatial resolutions, and gives access to multimodal features. We've learned how to use Zebra Explorer and access its many functions, such as browsing connectivity matrices. And we've also seen that a Python client is available that provides programmatic access to Atlas features. And that's it. Thank you for watching. We're always happy to hear your feedback and answer any questions you might have. Feel free to contact us at any time and we'll see you very soon.